giving that out going to be sick just hope you find a good place to stream from yeah i know i um i'm very stoked i'm very 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 right, stoked okay i'm i'm very excited i've never been to chicago i've never been to a convention i'm at all right, let's look at the preview of the DNC. Our upcoming presidential debates could help or hurt Canada. Senior White House and political correspondent has already made his way to Chicago for the convention. Ed, good morning to you. It's a big moment for any candidate. How is the Harris campaign planning to make the most of it? Tony, good to see you. The biggest task she probably has to do next week is to really define herself yet again to voters who may remember that she's been vice president for the last several years, but may not know a lot about her. She's famous but unknown, as some might say. And so there's a big opportunity over the course of the four days for the party to reintroduce her or introduce her to those who may not be as familiar with her work back in California, her work in the Senate, her work as vice president. And she's going to take advantage of the star power available to her across the party by having all the former presidents speak on her behalf. What kind of fish should I have for the DNC? I was thinking of going with like a like a suit jacket with a tank top undershirt under the suit jacket and and maybe even pop it off. Is there a dress code? I think probably not. I don't know. Bro said, how do you get tickets? Bro said, how do you get tickets? Like, like it's a it's a concert that we're going to. Can Chicago's meet you next week or or what? Maybe. What the pack if you're heading to the DNC or RNC party conference this summer? What? Best walking shoes for a party conference. Ew. Oh, ew. Bro, what the f hey yo. Oh my god. Patagonia Houdini jacket. <laughs> Portable charger. Badge holder with a zipper. Lanyard. Oh my god. With a lanyard holder. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is the nerd conference, dude. I swear. Oh god. It's terrible, bro. If you don't show up as a drip lord, I'm on subbing. No, I'm I'm dripped out for sure. I think March and I are March and I are gonna be putting that sh on. Absolutely, March. You might need to actually bring the podcasting equipment, big dog. Uh, like literally for the Obama, like the the off chance that we do the Obama, sh we might even if we don't do it on stream live, like we might do it off stream. And in that case, like it's probably a necessity, even if we don't do it for the pod. Yeah, it won't be like fear and but. Oh, Obama. Um, I'm also gonna try to get. Uh, if we do Firan, I might do it with like Hassan Minhaj. Only dress code on the FAQ is: Can you wear a mask? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask him about what his favorite One Piece character is. Thirty to forty k protesters expected on Monday. Let's go. They'll be half a mile from DNC. They're asking to get closer. Smartphone era means low bar for attention. Dave notes, minor scuffles far from DNC can go viral. Protests were close to a non-factor with RNC fever than 1,000. Focus almost entirely on pressuring Democrats and Biden. Sincerely, but will you be crossing a picket line by going into the DNC? Can you explain why I won't be crossing a picket line? Um, there is no labor dispute, as far as I understand, within the convention. And also, I am going as a... Uh, I mean, it's like saying Rashida Tlaib is, is crossing a picket line or Ihan Omar is crossing a picket line. There's not a strike. There's a protest. There is no picket line. And not only that, but also, I don't know if you know this, but like I'm going as a as a political commentator. Also, my presence at the DNC is basically a voice for uh, Palestinian emancipation. So I don't even know how that would work. Like, it's not like it's not like I'm going into the DNC and I'm just going to drop Gaza as an issue. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to. Once I step foot inside the D Democratic National Convention, this Palestine is over. Okay, I don't even know what. What like I'm? I'm gonna start talking about how I'm gonna start talking about how Israel has a right to defend itself. <laughs> I just wanted the point to be addressed. Sorry for derailing. Will you be at the Chapo Trinon show? Yes, I will be at the Chapo Trinon show. Yes, going into the DNC to do tricks on it. Yes. Are you surprised they're letting you in? No. I think from all the conversations that I've had with like high level Democratic Party politicians and shit like that over the course of the past week or so, I've come to the conclusion that they see what like Donald Trump is doing with like, you know, all these podcasts and with all these social media outlets and like streamers and whatnot. And they're basically looking for their own version of that. And on the left, obviously, if you're going to look at that, you know, I am the largest uh, left wing content creator in independent media. I think so. That is probably the reason why, you know, not but on there.
No, you're going corpo. Yeah. Mayor. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, the, Kai said no. That's why your second choice. Yeah, that's what happened. They were like, we need, we need the number one political commentator, Kai Sinat. <laughs> and and when he was like, nah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. They were like, okay, I guess who's the next best thing? Who's the next up? Half, and of course, President Biden as well validate uh, his decision to choose her four years ago and set her up for this big night. So, Ed, the Republican convention was a month ago and a whole Democratic candidate ago. So how does the Trump campaign, <laughs> if you know at this point, plan to counter-program against what Harris and her campaign plan to do? Well, we got a taste of it yesterday, literally and figuratively, with all that food there in front of the former president. The idea being that they're trying to get him to refocus on issues of dollars and cents, uh, on which he continues to lead Harris in the polls on issues of the economy. If they believe if they can get him talking about the economy, talking about inflation, talking about immigration, it will remind voters that Republicans or he potentially can better handle those top concerns. He's bringing back some of his old aides from 2016 and 2020, guys like Corey Lewandowski who were there in the beginning to try to refocus him and help the current team, uh, you know, figure out a way to get him talking more about policy and making it less personal. That can be difficult because even yesterday's event, while it was meant to be about the economy and about inflation, of course, once again, devolved into personal attacks. Yep, and maybe the most famous Corey Lewandowski quote is, let Trump be Trump, and he's certainly doing that. Right. Ed, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I hope Ed scouts some lunch spots because I'll be headed to the Democratic Convention starting Monday as well, and you can watch all of our coverage here uh, on CBS, on CBS Mornings, the Evening Dude, News, and stoked. our streaming channel, CBS News 24-7, and also... I'm kind of stoked on this. Like, I I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be fun. Don't let him hit. Don't let them hit you with the stork goo that makes you pro-Israel. You mean the stork goo? What is a stork goo? You mean the stroke gun? <laughs> Did you get hit with the stroke gun that makes you pro-Israel while typing that out? Going to be sick. Just hope you find a good place to stream from. Yeah, I know. I um, I'm very stoked. <laughs> I'm very, very, very right, stoked, okay? I'm, I'm very excited. I've never been to Chicago. I've never been to a convention. I'm actually very excited about it. Please don't shit the bag. Good luck. Yeah, a boo, and now a stork goo. Um, there are obviously a lot of, there are obviously a lot of journalists that are going to be there that I am excited to link up with. They've all been hitting me up. There's a lot of politicians in the Democratic Party that have also reached out to my management to, to set up some time uh, to be on the stream. For a limited time uh i'll go i'll go link up with the protests as well i think one of the days and uh yeah so we'll see you better not be dissing my city dude i just want i wanted so badly to link up with jb pritzker and just eat some hot dogs i wanted that so bad audio files will be unbearable in an uncontrolled environment you already know uh just don't worry about that because i got that unlock as well for the record i got that unlock as well I have, um, I have new mics that I bought the same mics that NMP law used on his stream and March got a new arm for the camera. I think the only thing we need is like maybe a light as well on top of the camera, fair and balanced and yet won't platform the Republicans on a stream makes you think, I mean, the reality is I, I probably platform Republicans more than I platform Democrats, but yeah, I will be, I'll be linking up with Prem. I'll be linking up, uh, dude.